The first Minecraft 1.21 snapshot just dropped and now we have access to the crafter. So in order to craft the actual crafter, you need five iron ingots, one crafting table, one dropper, and two redstone dust. That will give you the almighty crafter. What we've all been waiting for for all these years. Auto crafting is actually finally here in Minecraft and this is what it looks like. So the thing with the auto crafter is, <laughs> I just noticed, look at that. It looks like a little face. So as I was saying, the auto crafter faces whichever direction the player is looking at so you can kind of rotate the auto crafter as much as you like and it's got some really interesting textures ignoring the face you got the side textures but also look at the back textures that's really nice okay let's say you want to craft a shield so what you would do is you would disable the slots that are not needed and the blocks will simply go like this and you will get a shield now can you pull this okay so you cannot take items from the auto crafter manually what you have to do is you actually have to give the auto crafter a pulse and it will dispense out a shield for you, whatever item you put in. So let's try that again. And if you notice, you can see the arrow is red, but again, the redstone has to be a pulse. It cannot be a continuous redstone signal. So that means you cannot just place a redstone block beside it and it will always dispense item. You just have to trigger a pulse. All right, what if we take a hopper and place it on top and lock the hopper now? If you want to automatically place items in the crafter, it goes from left to right and from top to bottom. So the items will flow like this, okay? From left to right, and it will go from the grid top to bottom. Let's try that. So if we unlock the hopper, it should dispense in perfectly and give us the shield, okay? And then we just give it a pulse and it gives us the shield outside. Hold on a second. So how does the comparator works? Does, not, does it not trigger when items are in the crafter? It does, but also it triggers when you disable certain slots that's so interesting okay so we have a signal of four if we have disabled three slots but what if we just disable everything okay that will give us a signal of about 10 so not quite the full stretch okay how is this working okay so the minimum redstone signal you can get is two redstone signals unless it's completely turned off and then you can just disable certain slots to get additional redstone signals every time there's an item plus disable slots okay i don't know what redstoners are gonna do with this i'm not a redstone expert i don't know where's the potential of this but this looks really good okay this is where my curiosity strikes i mean something like this a crossbow you cannot stack the placement it's all over the place how do you craft something like this okay so the item hopper only has five slots does that mean we just add the additional hopper and then the last i i mean this is gonna be so confusing but let's just give it a try uh hello where did the items go where are all my items <laughs> it's all it's just all in the chest what is this okay a little bit of a different setup here let's try that so we're gonna have like that and then we're gonna go like this and then there we go We've got the crossbow. So apparently you can also connect droppers to the crafter. That might actually help a lot. So let's try it out. Dropper, redstone. Okay. Okay. No, for goodness sake. Uh, for Stop breaking things, dude. I'm gonna keep breaking things. No, no. So the dropper randomizes what it picks from the grid to place in the crafter. That's really annoying. If it just plays from, you know, left to right again, that would have been helpful. Whoa, whoa, I've just noticed. If you just put in the recipe and if you dispense it, the mouth actually animates open? That's pretty cool. Okay, okay, I've came up with something. I saw this online. So you have a minecart with hopper going around, placing the stone in different crafting recipes. So now you have slabs, you know, bricks. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So if I put a redstone clock behind... <laughs> I, I wanted it to go in the hoppers below, not this mess. But hey, the end result is the same. We've got a bunch of different redstone variants. It works, but not exactly in the chest. All right, it looks like our crafters are somewhat full. That should do the trick. Now we pull this in and... In the chest, please? Yes! Yes! Even me, the redstone idiot, can find out a way for, to make this work. That is really good news. No, no, as I was saying, why is there buttons in here? Oh, oh, I know why, I know why, I know why. So if you have the redstone clock on and then the crafter is still filling up, it will just... If you have it constantly ticking, it will just dispense out 
even if it has one stone block, which means it will be a button. So that's why there should be a bunch of buttons in here, but it works. It all works. And I'm actually quite impressed with how convenient the crafter is. I, me, someone who don't even know redstone can kind of use it pretty comfortably, but that's as far as I'll go for now. Comfortable. I still have to look at tutorials and stuff to really understand this, but that is the first snapshot of Minecraft 1.20. I thought we would get the breeze, the trial chambers and everything today, but we didn't. We just got the auto crafter. So hopefully that drops next week and I will uncover that on the channel when that snapshot drops so stay tuned and i'll see you next time